Now that we have our filter set up, I want to start doing the previews of the posts. So in a few episodes we are going to end up with something like this. So when we click on a post, we get the post preview and we can cycle through previous and next posts and then we can close this post preview. In this episode I'm going to show you how to get the post that you have clicked on and display it, display it in that modal window right here. So first of all I'm just going to create that modal that we will be displaying the preview of our posts in and uh, it's not going to be pretty for now, it's not going to have animations uh, we will do that in a few episodes but for right now I'm just going to do single preview so remember all of the CSS is already written so when I do this I'm doing this at the end of the post list template so this is our post list template I'm doing it at the end because this modal window is fixed to the page so it doesn't matter where I put it so I just chose to put it at the end and now if we refresh our page we get this so this is the area that we are going to be displaying our posts in back in our index.php file we have to make a clickable link uh, for when, when we click the uh, let's say this image right here for something to appear right here so to do that I'm going to on this image I'm going to add a, uh, a tag and instead of href I'm going to say v on click equals to and then this equals to get the post method so we don't have that method yet but we will add it soon so get the post and we are going to pass the ID of this post to that method so to do that you just do in these brackets you do post post dot ID so we are just passing it ID of the post okay now we have that set up next thing we need to do we need to create the get post method in our app.js file uh, under methods we are going to create a new method called get the post function and I'm going to put it above the open filter and close filter and next thing we need to do we need to get all the posts so remember I said I want this to be as quick as possible so I don't want to use uh, view resource again and uh, connect to the API again and get that post I could do that because I'm passing uh, the ID uh, of the post uh, to this method so I could connect to the API and get uh, that post but I don't want to do that because I don't want to make another request so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the ID right here so this is the ID that we are getting from this post ID and then I'm going to set the variable posts to be this dot posts so this is this right here so the post that we are getting from our API now we need to filter those posts we need to filter them as we already have them uh, we need to filter them and uh, get only the post with the ID of the post that we clicked on so I'm going to create another function right here and call it filter posts so this is pure JavaScript this has nothing to do with Vue.js actually so el and I'm going to do return el or element id equals id so the id that we are getting from this link right here and it's going to filter out our id now all the all all that we have to do is we have to set the current post that we are viewing so to do that we just do this dot set equals to post and then we do posts dot filter post filter 
so these posts right here we want to filter them filter and filter posts so we are calling this function right here and it's going to filter all the list of our posts that we are getting and we are using it to display the post we're just going to filter it to show only one post and that's it now we save this now we can go to our index.php file and just to see if this is working we can add a title of the post in our single preview so I'm just going to do h2 h2 and then we open curly braces and then I'm going to do post and now I'm doing zero because since we are getting only one post uh, we actually array with only one post we wanna uh, check the first value so we wanna get the first value and that is zero and then we do title title dot rendered okay save this and of course I forgot in the app.js we have to define our data so we have to put post right here and that should be it so let's see if this works so when I click on one of those images we should get the title of the post right here okay so we are getting it so when I click on this one we get those and so on okay so let's just add some other stuff to our model so first of all I want to display an image right here so I'm just going to do image and I'm going to copy the this one out from our post list and of course just add zero right here because we are not uh, looping through any kind of a list and uh, if we refresh this right now when we click on our post we should be getting those images okay the next thing we need to do we want to display the excerpt of the post so I'm just going to put it in the post content div and if you check out our REST API you can see that we have this right here so it's the excerpt of our post so to do that you can do just this post zero excerpt rendered rendered okay save this let's refresh our page right now and if you click on it we get the excerpt but we also get these p tags so we are getting unprocessed HTML right here so to rectify that in Vue.js you just do this you add one more curly brace and one more curly brace so three curly braces on each side and you save this refresh it and now if you click as you will see we're not getting any more p tags and the styles are applied right here so this is looking pretty good in the next episode i'm going to show you how you can cycle through those posts by clicking the previous and next links that we are going to be putting right here so this is it for this video thank you guys for watching uh, if you like the video please like it if you like the channel subscribe to it uh, also you can follow me on facebook or on twitter and don't forget everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below so once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode